When Leslie and John Malone are here at the Colorado ranch they call Harmony, they focus on the horses that are a center point of their lives. With equine athletes like these, injuries come with the territory. Healthy as a horse, I don't know whoever said healthy as a horse, but they didn't know what they were talking about. Because you put so much training in and they tend to break down and they're doing this and doing that to keep them going. And it just it would be wonderful to have them have their health longer for a longer period. He has a high success rate. It's higher After working closely with veterinarians at Colorado State University, now the couple is donating more than $42 million to Colorado State, the largest cash gift in CSU history. Well, this is an absolutely transformational moment for Colorado State University. In addition to being the largest single cash gift in the university's history, this gift really positions us to build on our foundation as a leader in translational medicine and move us into the One Health arena in, in that area where advances in veterinary medicine very rapidly move into the sphere of benefiting human health. I think we look at CSU as a pragmatic place to invest research money. The gift from the celebrated media magnate will start a research institute at CSU to develop for animals therapies that will translate to human medicine, focused particularly on biologic therapies. It covers the gamut of protein therapies, gene therapy, stem cell therapies, but non-surgical therapies that can make things better for both the horse and the human. Who's in the if best you, position really no to do something about this, to take cutting edge research, apply it pragmatically the to the problems we see that people and horses are encountering on a day-to-day -day basis, it became pretty logical CSU was the right place to go. So you injected stem cells in both of his mm -hmm. stifles? Yep. This yep. is one of the Malone's horses, Blixed. He's recovering well after having stem cells injected to help treat injuries to both stifles, which are similar to our knees. We pulled it out of his tuber coxae, actually. So, so you go into this bone and, and take bone marrow, and then they culture those, the, the bone marrow to get the stem cells, and then we inject those cells back in his stifles. Why it worked, exactly what it's doing, I don't know that anybody has totally figured that out. But there's some really practical questions that we think we can answer better with the new institute. Now the Malone's historic gift will help develop therapies with living tissues and less invasive surgical techniques, pushing innovations from veterinary medicine to human medicine at the new Institute for Biologic and Translational Therapies. Yeah, we are truly humbled by John and Leslie Malone's gift to Colorado State University. It's a true vote of confidence in Colorado State University, and that makes a world of difference today and in the future. And John Malone says Colorado State University is the right place to invest, to make an even bigger difference by improving the lives of animals and people. For us, it's where you can put the money, where it has lots of impact, where it can start something that can have very long-term, sustainable mm -hmm. impact. You're trying to give it perpetuity, some legacy element.